Hello, and welcome back. I am unemployed, and this is becoming a problem. Today, I'd like to look at a TV show called First Dates, and really it does what it says on the tin. What I noticed about this show is that I'm pretty sure some of the people on here are just genetically engineered by the producers. Because the show normally goes like this. One person will be in the interview room describing who they want to go on a date with. Hi, I'm Tom, and I'm looking for a girl who's great at balancing. She's got to have a really good sense of smell, and she's got to be really kind to children. Then, unicycles in Beth with her third nostril, holding a scrapbook of the 14 children she just adopted. Hi, I'm Beth, and I'm looking for someone with a really specific criteria and a one-syllable name. You'll see what I mean, okay? Let's have a watch. If you were to date a perfect character, which one would it be? Oh, God. My... Oh, what's her name? Poison Ivy, definitely. Yeah, I cosplay. Who do you go as? Um, Poison Ivy. My point exactly. Hello, sir. How are you doing? You alright? Very well. What's your name? Josh. Merlin. Nice to meet you, Merlin. What can I get you to drink, Josh? Let's have a Desperate times here for Mr Bean. I don't 100% understand how you're still single. Do you want to know the truth? Yeah, a little bit. I cheated on you. Can't find love because you cheated on your girlfriend. Huh. Poor you. How long were you with your girlfriend for? On and off, four years. Meaning I've cheated on her for four years. So what are you looking for then? Long Jimmy, I suppose. Someone yeah. that can properly see a future with. Someone I can see a future with. You're not looking for a girlfriend. You're looking for a psychic. Every girl wants their own way. Every girl wants to be treated like a princess. Every girl wants to be treated like a princess. Locked in a tower for 10 years. Or perhaps beheaded when you fail to give birth to a male heir. Or maybe forcefully married to form an alliance with the French. Doesn't sound great. It's not happening. She's a monster. She is a monster. See, I've had this situation, but in a more subtle way, where a girl's gone, oh, that looks nice. Yeah, that's why I fucking ordered it. I love shopping. Just spend a lot of money on your outfit. Nah. Love that. Hi, babe. She actually just picked up her phone at the table while on a first date. I'd ask if she was born in a barn, but that'd be an insult to the pigs. I'll be two seconds, babe. <laughs> Dad, can I borrow your t-shirt for the date tonight? I just don't like him. Does he know you're going? Oh my God, she's leaving. So bad. I feel so guilty, but I just couldn't stay any longer. Top comment. She doesn't need a date. She needs a therapist. Another great comment. He's lucky she bailed. Could have been worse. She could have stayed. <laughs> Good afternoon. How are you? What's your name? Reese. Bloody hell, Reese. I hope you brought your booster seat for the taxi home. If I'm on a night out, I'd kind of like trying to find like a little high seat and just sit on it all night. <laughs> I mean, you have to hand it to short people. Yeah, you have to hand it to short people. Obviously, I only can have a certain amount of girls I can go for, like a little group of girls. Little group of girls. Yeah, literally. I've been looking for love for about three years, but I've just not found it. Uh, it's probably on the top shelf. <laughs> Bloody hell, he's gonna drown. Ah, but Reese's Pieces, hope you find love. You know, keep your head high. This is 55-year-old divorcee Jane and her beloved bachelor son, Bobby. Double date with your mum. Okay, see where this goes. This is my mum. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah. You're very nice. Thank you. <laughs> Just dropped my jacket, sorry. <laughs> How are you, you all right? Yeah, Good. Very well. Cool. Yes. Please get her a chair. This is horrible. Fellow divorcee Nick is also in pursuit of happiness. Hello, man. Oh, that was like Paddington Bear. I feel the big love of my life is still to come. Hello. What's your name, please? Uh, Nick. Nick. In the last 18 months, I've kind of found myself... Wanking far too much. I've been a little while because I'm here with my son. <laughs> He's on a date as well. Really? So I came in with him, Another yes. Wow. Yeah. That's... My favourite porno. Bobby is very protective of me. It's kind of nice that we're close, isn't it? Hope he's not that protective of his mum all the time. 
You know, if Nick wants to plunge some clunge, I hope he's not in the corner of the room checking his form. It's very interesting, isn't it? We'll just have to make out they're not there. <laughs> but she's beautiful, isn't she? It's a trap! She is? Yeah. Mission failed! So how important do you think it is that your mum likes your girlfriend? If my mum likes her, then I probably would like her just that little bit more. Yeah, well, my mum loves Mary Berry. Does that mean I should cover her in my batter? I don't think so. And she also probably queefs dust. Oh, I'm a massive ar arachnophobic. Yeah, a rack scares me too. Good. Nice to meet you, top man. Take care, yeah? All the best, yeah? Cheers. Make sure she gets home safe, yeah? Yeah, give her one from me. I had a lovely day, it really was nice. <laughs> lots to talk about and lots in common. All these guys are so nice. When's an absolute piece of shit gonna turn up? Well, I don't find you attractive. There he is. What's the point in staying and having main course and having dinners? Problem is, I don't think he's looking for a date. I think he's looking for Solo and the Wookiee. <laughs> you know don't be a dick, see it through, by dessert. Did Fred Flintstone really just reject this shiny bundle of joy? How are you? I'm okay yourself. Yeah, very good. Why would you want him to leave? What, so you can sit there and eat a meal by yourself? Like you do every other night of your life? So you're finishing by yourself? It's all right, Fred. I'm sure he's used to finishing by himself. I just, I just don't find him attractive, Fred. There's not that, that click, that connection. And I feel bad, I feel rotten. But you still have a good appetite. Oh, you know it's bad when even Fred's taking a jab. Oh, don't worry. The, uh, the guy who got rejected came back on the show. Yes. You wanna go? Oh, he went. Definitely, yes. Would you? Definitely. That's yeah. nice. So, likewise. Aye, definitely. Likewise. They do look very similar. At least they can use the same hairdressers, or in their case, not use the same hairdressers. My friend standing next to me said, you mean he's a, uh, a messed up, divorced, drunk granddad. <laughs> and I had to put him correct. I said, I'm a grand lad, not a granddad. Oh, God. I hold myself well, I dress well, I smell well. This guy does seem a bit full of himself, but if she plays her cards right, she can be full of him as well. Mad. Mad. How old do you think I am? Um, maybe with 29. Yikes. 30? I don't know. Did you say 29? Did you say 30? Either or, just same age, 30, 30, 30 then are you older? Here you go. Yeah, a shovel. Keep digging. Excellent. I'm actually about to chill because of you. I'm 25. I thought I was actually being normal since 29. My God, she has more annoying stairs than the Eiffel Tower. I am 25. I am not 29 or 30, OK? There's no point getting angry. I didn't I'm not mean... getting angry. I'm just making facts. Oh, my God, woman, you asked. You ass! How dare you say that about me? Um, that I think that we'd be like best friends. All aboard! Next destination, the friend zone. I'm not a fan of, of skinny girls. Ooh, no. It's always good to have. I don't want to say a little meat because that sounds like, yeah, you are fat. Most men, they don't like that skinny look, you know? Uh. Yeah, I mean, butts are pretty good too. I think you look good. Let me rephrase that. I think you look amazing. OK, let me go to the toilet. And drown myself. Coming to her date dressed to impress. She looks like one of those playground nets. Because, you know, don't want to be paying for everything. <laughs> Is he high? <laughs> I'd ideally like someone with a loose extra. Hi, I'm Adam, I'm 32, and I can't get my dick up. Nancy's date is estate agent and raver, Nora. Oh, I bet she loves house music. You know, because she's a real estate agent. I'm a little bit street, so I normally get good girls. Yeah, all right, a bit Sesame Street. What kind of music are you into? House, house, oh my God. <laughs> Told you. Would you like to see each other again? Who goes first? Yeah, I mean, yeah, why not? Um, oh god, are you saying no? <laughs> it's really mean to make the other person go first when you know you're going to reject them. Yeah, go on, you go first. Yeah, I think I would quite like to. Too bad, loser. You stink and you're boring. Yeah. No, we went to the bathroom. We just didn't have yeah. any manners. None of none of their dates got up and went to the bathroom in the middle of the room. Didn't they? Mm. Oh, bless their little hearts, eh? Mm. They have manners. Uh, awkward yeah. silence, which is a good thing. Apart from you going to the bathroom in the middle of the starter. Let it go, let it go. Is it rude to go to the toilet on your first date? I'd rather I sit here and piss down your leg. 
Well, she might be into that. I will break into tears if I talk about her. She um, dumped me by letter. She dumped you using a letter? I'm sorry. I didn't know it was the 1940s. Yeah, just let me send some flirty Morse code and then I'll send this nude via carrier pigeon. Uh, I've been single for about a year and a half, so... Single for about a year and a half? Yeah. What is that? You're a good looking fella. The bartenders are really nice, aren't they? They always say, oh, why not? You're a good looking fella. Never... Oh, I can see why, you ugly man child. Definitely did not picture myself going on a date with a hot girl that I follow on Instagram. Oh my God, he's on a date with someone whose Instagram he wanks over. Tick that one off the bucket list. Probably had her on Instagram for around six months, somewhere around that. It's um, good viewing if you got a few spare hours on a Sunday. Well, we all know what he means there, don't we, fellas? I'm really finding that everything happens for a reason. He's here, so I, I must have been meant to meet him and go on a date with him. Yeah, it's fate. It's not fate, is it? It's the showrunners, you numpty. You really think they didn't ask him, who's your dream woman? He pulled up your Instagram and then they just set you up. You really think that didn't happen? Because it fucking did. It's starting to get dark outside. Oh my God. Who does the cooking? My mother. Do you get on? We get along like a house on fire. As in, we're always screaming. And as soon as we leave, we realize we forgot granddad. More in industry. industry yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, so I specialize in bacterial endotoxin. Really? I'm going to do a PhD in Leeds. Oh wow. Herpes viruses. Oh wow. <laughs> We work in like eight, so it's like Kaposi's sarcoma. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. I know Kaposi's sarcoma. Oh, it's great. Oh, yeah, we all know Paracosis sarcoma. Come on. Great top comment on this one. This turned into a LinkedIn party pretty quickly. Oh, turns out the date didn't go well. Someone in the comments said, well, the ginger one is 200 metres away from me on Grinder, So uh, I'm guessing it didn't work out. I think my style of flirting probably is relatively playground. Oh, he likes playground flirting. But uh, I'm sure the primary school he does it in aren't as pleased. I got you a little submit, ain't gonna lie. Aww. I was gonna buy you a bunch of flowers, but I didn't know Aww. if you'd be pissed off if no. I bought you them. So I got you some seeds so you can, buy, you can grow your own. Aww. Seeds. Giving them seeds instead of flowers. That is top notch. I'm using that. How old are you? Guess. Guess. No, guess. guess. Go on, let's do it. 56. You <laughs> <laughs> You say that one more time. Sounds pessimistic, but I feel like I'm going to screw it up somehow already. <laughs> I've got like the social etiquette of like a four year old. <laughs> social etiquette of a four year old. Just imagine him sitting at the table, pissing down his leg and asking the waitress if he could suck on her tits. What do you do? I work as a science technician at a college. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. Wow, cool. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Uh. Oh, oh! There goes that conversation. I've managed to knit a Doctor Who scarf before, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah. just, <laughs> um, yeah, did that as a, a challenge. Wow, cool. Yeah. yeah. Wow, for a science teacher, he doesn't have much chemistry. Someone in the comments said he looks like the white version of Kim Jong-un. Eight years this year, yeah. Snap. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Here comes PE teacher Joe. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Really nice to meet you. It's so nice to meet you too. Cheers. I did miss you, did yeah. you? And your nice smile. It's really bad, isn't it? A PE teacher that can't find the right pitch. Sean's date is movie buff Nick. His favourite film may be Titanic. Yeah, mention the Titanic. It's a great way to break the ice. Life is pretty much like a movie. And your movie is Killer Bean. Fred looks out of place, doesn't he? He looks like an NPC ready to give a quest. They get your 50 shits are fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, that laugh is amazing. I was going to say, would you not try nice, sir? No, sir. No, sir. Oh, that is fantastic. So a bit of backstory here, right? This guy has been an absolute diamond, okay? He even went as far to get the waiter to bring out a little candle on their dessert because it's the girl's birthday tomorrow. And after being a model citizen, this is her response. I don't think this is for me. Because I keep comparing to my previous relationship. And I think I'm so desperate to have that like that back, and I don't want anything less. So she wants something like her previous relationship. What, you mean the one that didn't work out? Yeah, good idea. If you do keep looking back, you'll never go forward. 
I want a big country mansion. I saw a good comment saying she'll make her husband poor and divorce lawyers rich. We've got an age gap. This is a very small age gap for me. Oh, you like older guys? Yeah. Yeah, I like older men. I like helping them pick out the colour of their hearse while I commit daylight robbery. People tell you that being in love is like sunshine, you're in, you're in a field full of flowers. Oh, I've got hay fever, so I hope not, he says wearing this. Putting his best foot forward in the pursuit of love is 23-year-old urban trendsetter. Urban trendsetter? What, do you mean unemployed? If he's an urban trendsetter, then I'm a freelance sperm producer. That does the same thing that I do, do you know what I mean? So if I tell her to dab, I want her to dab. If someone asked me to dab, there would no longer be a date. There would be a court case. Do you want some water? Uh, sparkling water. You scumbag. Have you got a WKD? Can I have a WKD? Well, it's not a school disco. Yeah, what's your name again? Harold. <laughs> Can I call you Eric? Call me whatever you like, sweetheart. I've got a feeling she won't be calling you at all. It's important to go and have sex somewhere crazy, I think. Round the back of home base. Why is his one example round the back of home base? Suppose you could utilise the trampolines. What do you cosplay as? Daenerys Targaryen, Game of Thrones. I think he just came. Do you want to see my cosplay pictures? Oh, yeah, sure. What was that? I must have been his boner smacking against the table. Literally all you've done since you've got here is talk about how you like being out with the lads. Just pure like lad, lad, lad. Listen, geezer's gonna geeze. Geezer's gonna geeze is the equivalent of saying that your daughter is fit. What's your name? Harry. Harry. With an eye. With an eye. Uh, I think you'll find you've got two of them. We have um, a vegan cider. A vegan cider? <laughs> There's a thing. So you're vegan? Oh, as if he wasn't going to tell you within the first 10 seconds of meeting you. Fish stew, no problem. Thank you. What are you having? The fish stew. Fish? Fish, like... You know, fish, those things. Oh my god, that looks amazing. And for you, sir. Awesome. Vegan wow. Can you tell me what's in it? She is just torturing him about the fish, isn't she? She is doing this on purpose. What's in this? Well, there's fish, a hint of fish, and the secret ingredient is a bit of fish. And how did you make it? Well, firstly, uh, we hung the fish like a piñata, and then we smacked it with our shoes. Then we told him he'll never amount to anything, and we served him on a plate that was insultingly below room temperature. I can smell the fish and that's minging. Nah, it's just my pussy. You know what I'm saying? Nice to meet you. Oh, and of course he's got a guitar. A few number one albums around the world, lots of top ten singles. How old were you when it all kicked off then? Well, I was 20, but... And the thing was, I couldn't go some places in the world without, without being recognised. But I wanted to be not recognised and judged on my true character and stuff. I wanted to not be recognised, so I wore this iconic hat from the 80s. I had to get out of my cupboard and dust it off, but I think it makes the perfect disguise. You look like you must do say the music or something like that. Shit, my cover's blown. Um, just say you're in finance or she'll spray through her jeans. There's a band uh, called Curiosity Killed the Cat. Oh, shut up. They spent on my favourite band. No. <laughs> it's my posters up. <laughs> you didn't recognise me, though. He's, he's actually disappointed. He's like, you didn't recognise me? I spent two hours looking for this hat for nothing. You do look different. It's the hat now, the giveaway, isn't it? Damn. I knew it was a giveaway. Looking to click and build a relationship is professional Lego designer, Dan. Professional Lego designer, huh? Yeah, I'm a professional colouring book connoisseur. If I was on this show, I'd want to give a really strange specific criteria to see if the showrunners could actually find someone like that. Like, I want a guy wearing a denim jacket with no sleeves. He's got to have an afro, a goatee, wearing mascara and earrings that, I don't know, have mistletoe in them. So do you, do you like to get straight, guys? 